Matt, excuse-moi, j'arrive un peu en retard, mais j'ai entendu de la musique et je pensais qu'on était avec Marco. Mais je vois que on a quelqu'un de, de particulier. Hello, to, to les. I did not know you were there. Hello, It's Mena. It's a big miracle. What are you I doing here? I don't know, my son, but I was looking for you. Ah, importantly, <laughs> we yeah. meet now. <laughs> Oh, I heard so beautiful music. Oh, uh, merci uh, beaucoup. I went to the little before entering because I did not want to interrupt you. So it's a good thing you are there. You are not expected to be here, but I like to introduce you uh, if it is not yet done. Tule is a fantastic guitarist from uh, Vietnam, but she lived in different countries and she has a great career. Uh, I discovered her, and since I discovered her, I was enthusiastic. Uh, we, we were no, we are really very close. Uh, not too close. Huh? Not too close, <laughs> but we never know. But not yet. Not, <laughs> not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> no good luck. So, so, Tule, uh, maybe you can explain to us uh, why you are there in Brussels, you had a tour in France, you were in Germany, so uh, happy you can explain to us uh, you are in Europe. Ah, hello, bonjour everyone. Uh, I just finished my European tour of 28 concerts in six weeks. So now I'm here, of course, firstly for holidays and uh, to visit Brussels uh, International Guitar Festival because this place uh, has a lot of connection with me. Oh, because uh, nine really? years ago, I was here for the competition. Uh, you played the competition? Yes, yeah, yes, nine years I ago. Have so many things to discover about you, because in fact, we had not so many opportunities to meet and to speak privately, even if already we are uh, close friends. So, so uh, you knew Belgium and you knew Hugh Naves, the same. Yes. So that's ah, okay. So you come for good souvenir. <laughs> yes, it's all good memories. Good memories. That's why I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you have a special pleasure for this festival and for Bruxelles. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Beautiful city. It's just pity that it's uh, raining so much this day. <laughs> Yeah, but in this in this way, uh, we are happy to be inside and to attend the concert and the competition. If the weather was so beautiful, maybe we will have pleasure to visit many things. But maybe yes. next days it will be okay. Yeah, so, matter, no? so uh, do you remember the first time we we met and then we started to to be in touch? Ah, uh, actually we met a few times, right? It's many, many years ago. I think in some festival, maybe in Germany. But I remember the time when we met in Nam Show. Yeah. Uh, 2018, I think. And then we met again in uh, GFA. Yeah. No. yeah. Uh, maybe the Nam Show first and GFA second. And yes. uh, you were performing at the GFA. Yeah. It was a very good time. Thank you. <laughs> and the same. Every time we meet, it's always fun. So, so, so uh, maybe you have some special thing to tell us about your uh, start with uh, music, then changing the countries, and having an incredible career because. Uh, Everybody knows you, and uh, you are very present on uh, the Instagram, uh, Facebook. <laughs> well, I, I believe for every artist, every musician, we all have our own very unique and uh, full of story and journey. Okay. So for me, I started very young with my father. He was my first teacher when I was uh, actually below four years old. And there, people always ask me, how did the, you come to the guitar? But I always say, actually, the guitar came to me. <laughs> because I was uh, so small, I didn't know anything. I didn't even know how to write or to read yet. And uh, suddenly, I know that I could already play guitar. So uh, I felt that it's very natural. And uh, uh, in a way, I feel thankful, so grateful to have my father which is a great teacher, but also a great friend okay. in my life. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, a kind of coincidence, because uh, you are telling me your father was a guitarist in Vietnam. Yes. Yes, in Vietnam, and taught you the guitar, 
he led you to the guitar. But uh, Sunday evening, we shall hear Yamandu Costa. And when I met him first in Lyon, he took me in his arms, telling me, how oh, you are there, you know? My father taught me the guitar. I started yeah. with Savarez, and when we could not have string in our countries, he sent for free uh, Savarez string in, uh, in, in Brazil. So you are from Vietnam, and your father gave you a hand, and Yamondo was in Mexico, and has the same kind of experience. Father was a teacher, well-known guitarist, but now you are, you are an international star of the guitar, <laughs> like Yamondo, so congratulations. Thank you so much. And you know, talk about Savary strings. I remember one of a very, uh, also a little bit sad memory about Vietnam, you know. We were poor, we were struggling to have, you know, enough to eat. And as guitarists, you know, I started with thin strings. You did? Steel strings. Steel. There was no nylon strings no. at that time. And then only when I was maybe seven or eight years old, uh, we had nylon string mm -hmm. from Russia, from Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. And I remember my father had a friend in uh, USA mm -hmm. or in, in France, I don't remember. They gave him, they give him a, a set of savories. And for me, it was like yeah. life changing. Yeah. And we were saving it for so long to finally put on my guitar for one uh, exam in the conservatory. And I think I had that set for, I don't know, three years on my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> because we were waiting for the second set that yeah, never I, arrived. Never arrived. <laughs> <laughs> but I can add something about uh, your story, because uh, at the time of my father in the year 1948-1950, he opened uh, a factory in Vietnam to produce steel strings because at that time there was a very big market for steel string in Vietnam. And the name of the manager of the company was Trin Luc. And later on he had some troubles and we helped him to come to France where uh, we help the family and now they have a big development. Uh, the story is sometimes a little strange because you play the steel strings, yeah. we produce in Vietnam and we welcome these people and we gave a big hand for them to, to have a good job for, for the son and daughter mm. to, to be able uh, to go to university and now have a big situation. So, so interesting story between Savarez and Vietnam. Ah, I didn't know about the, the steel string no. factory in Vietnam. You know, at that time, <clears throat> even steel string, we would keep on the guitar and we wait until it's rusty and it's broken by itself. <laughs> and I remember so many times, even just tuning and the string broke. <laughs> 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 yeah, we all had this experience. Yeah, we all remember the, the hard time, but we, we appreciate, you know, so yeah. much. And so it's a kind of magic uh, to be together in, uh, in Bruxelles. Yeah, <laughs> so in a way it's a magic, but in a way I believe in, in hard work, in yeah. making, the, making the dream come true. True. And here we are. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> so you made the, the dream come true. I love this way of speaking. So I'll let you play maybe a little more. Thank you so much, Benno. It was a pleasure meeting you again. It's a great pleasure. Well, we Enjoy. Shall, we shall see each other during this week. Sure, so, sure. Thank you.